Rockville truly changed the mobile DJing game with their collapsible totem towers, the RTP32. And before that, you had to have like a traditional truss, base plate, and top plate, and it was really expensive and only accessible to people that have like a bigger car, like an SUV or a trailer or a van. And moving heads is really like one of the first steps DJs do to improve their lighting game and being able to display them up high over people's heads really is an essential component of having movers. But Rockville did a survey polling people to see like how many people actually were taking apart their totems before and after gigs. And 80% of people are transporting these pre-assembled. And that's definitely how I fit into that category because assembling and taking apart these totems is a pain in the butt and something I don't like to do unless I absolutely have to. And you know, I've owned a set of the 32s for years and I was considering getting another set because they're just so much easier to use. And I've been using gravity stands because that's probably like the most compact and easy to set up solution, but I'm starting to get a little bit sick of the aesthetic. I'm not sure I like it. I think I like the totems a lot better. So I went onto Rockville's site and then I saw that they have a new type of totem called the RTP Go. I had never heard of that. And I was able to watch like the lavish life of Pex video on this totem. And so I decided to get myself a pair. These are the next iteration of the RTP series with DJs in mind who wish that they could have it collapse even smaller without having to disassemble the unit. This has the same durability and height as the RTP32, but more collapsible and portable. But you do have to make some compromises for that portability and collapsibility, which I'll show you in just a few moments. And with that said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. And right off the bat, this thing has some heft to it. This definitely feels heavier than the last one. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing. So a new part of their design is that they have the base plate split into two. I'll show you why in just a few moments. Top plate, a pole mount that goes on top of the top plate, black and white scrim, some twisty knobs, one of the totem towers, a warranty card, and a QR code on how to set this thing up, some pads, some tools, second part of the base plate, the transport bag. So if you are the minority of users who's gonna be transporting it in this bag, I mean, this thing is pretty compact. You can fit the entire totem in here, so that's really cool. But I'm thinking that I want to have this thing fully assembled while I transport this gig to gig. This base plate comes apart, so it's a little bit more transportable. Comes with these rubber caps, just remove these. And so the old design did not have like the base plate have these screws coming out. It was like the other way, like the base plate had like some female threads so that you could screw a screw into it. So they figured that this way would be a little bit more optimized and easier to set up. So just like before, you align these holes with here. Take these cross braces, place them across like this. Now go ahead and screw these on. Something I like that I want to point out is that it has these nice Velcro straps that you can run your cables through. So just a small detail that I like that I wanted to point out. Okay, top plate, same thing. Move these rubber thingies. So you have to line this correctly or it won't fit. So. Oh, there we go. I finally have it aligned. It's kind of tricky. Okay, same operation. I'm going to attach these at the bottom here. Have to raise this a little bit. Not quite as easy as the bottom. I totally forgot to install these. All right, I've assembled this thing. And so you don't really need the tools. But as you can see here, you can like adjust some of these screws. You can like tighten them or remove them. And that's what these tools are for, but this is really designed to be toolless. And I could install like the speaker mount pole if I wanted to, if I was gonna put speakers on top of this thing. So this is totally optional. I can attach the speaker top plate like this. And also what is nice is to protect this thing from getting scuffed. As you can put these pads on here and they just stick right on, which I'll do in a moment and also has an added bonus of hiding these screws. Let's turn this into a glow totem. Let's put on the scrim first. 
So you can take your favorite par, in my case, they're both IR4, and stick it inside. And here you go, you have a glow totem. So the RTP Go has like the same familiar like locking pin design that the RTP 32 has. So when it's in this little groove right here, it is locked. When you want to unlock it, you pull it out and twist. To make this thing more compact, so there's two sliding pulls. And to be honest, this is not my favorite design or my favorite thing to set up at gigs, but that's just one of the compromises you have to make with this much compactness. It may not seem like a big deal to have two sets of locking pins opposed to just the one, but it adds complexity and I learned to just unlock one level at a time and raise up one level at a time. So this just doesn't fit into my Subaru Outback, which the Subaru Outback is longer than it is tall, but maybe we can fit it up there. It doesn't quite fit either with the seat down. Okay, with the seat up, it does have quite a bit of room but this isn't that useful, honestly. And honestly, this is probably how I'm gonna have to transport these. But this takes up significantly less room than the other ones. So stacking these on top of each other will be actually very doable. And this saves a ton of room. All right, so overall, I think this thing is really nice. It doesn't quite fit standing up in my car. I think in a taller SUV, it would fit. If I still have like my Ford Expedition, this would be fine. In my trailer, it doesn't save me a ton of room, but I don't want to use my trailer for every gig. Um, this is about the same price as the RTP32. This is $25 more. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. This thing will be able to fit into my car a lot better. And I think that these look a lot better than gravity stands. And you don't have to worry about finding an adapter to sit on top of a gravity stand. Like this is just, any mover can just sit on top and that's really easy. Rockville totems are solid and this is a solid addition to an already solid lineup. But if portability and collapsibility aren't big issues to you, like if you already have a big vehicle, then I highly recommend you stick with the RTP32 line because this, to raise it up, has twice as many moving parts and will take you twice as long or more. Well, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And please smash like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.